Hello and welcome fellow alphas. If you're watching this video, chances are you're interested in upping your dominance game. Whether it's in the workplace, dating, social settings, or in your personal life, being more dominant can have its advantages. It can help you command respect, establish your authority, and be more influential. In this video, we're going to go through 13 different ways to be more dominant. From maintaining eye contact to using hand gestures to emphasize your points, we'll cover it all. So sit back, take some notes, and get ready to up your dominance game. 1. Maintains eye contact and stares for as long as they please. One of the key indicators of dominance is maintaining eye contact. When you look someone in the eye and hold their gaze, it shows that you are confident and in control. Additionally, when you hold eye contact for longer periods of time, it can be seen as a sign of assertiveness. However, it's important to remember that staring for too long can make others uncomfortable, so it's important to find a balance. 2. Smirks more than they smile. While smiling is generally seen as a positive trait, smirking can convey a sense of confidence and superiority. When you smirk, it shows that you are in control and know something that others don't. However, it's important to not overdo it and come across as arrogant. 3. Touches people a lot more. Physical touch is a powerful tool for dominance. When you touch someone, it shows that you are comfortable with them and are willing to take charge. Additionally, it can help to establish a personal connection and build rapport. However, it's important to be mindful of personal boundaries and make sure that the other person is comfortable with being touched. 4. Initiates physical contact. Similar to the previous point, initiating physical contact can be a sign of dominance. When you reach out to shake someone's hand or pat them on the back, it shows that you are willing to take the lead and make the first move. However, as with point three, it's important to be mindful of personal boundaries and make sure that the other person is comfortable with being touched. Five, interrupts others and speaks over them. While interrupting others is generally seen as rude, it can also be a sign of dominance. When you interrupt someone, it shows that you are confident in your ideas and are not afraid to assert yourself. However, it's important to not overdo it and to be respectful of others' opinions. 6. Speaks in a slow and steady tone. The way you speak can also convey a sense of dominance. When you speak in a slow and steady tone, it shows that you are in control and confident in what you are saying. Additionally, it can help to establish authority and make others take you more seriously. 7 is the center of attention in group settings. Being the center of attention in group settings is a clear sign of dominance. When you are able to command the attention of others, it shows that you are confident and in control. However, it's important to not be too overbearing and to make sure that others have a chance to contribute as well. 8. Takes up more space than necessary. The way you physically occupy space can also convey a sense of dominance. When you take up more space than necessary, such as spreading your arms out or leaning back in your chair, it shows that you are comfortable and confident in your surroundings. Additionally, it can help to establish authority and make others take you more seriously. 9. Initiates physical contact. Another way to assert dominance is by initiating physical contact. This could be as simple as a firm handshake, a pat on the back, or even a hug. When you initiate physical contact, you are taking control of the situation and showing that you are comfortable with being in close proximity to others. However, it's important to read the situation and the person you're interacting with. Some people may not be comfortable with physical touch, so it's important to be respectful of boundaries. If you're unsure, start with a lighter touch and gauge their response before escalating. 10. Interrupts others and speaks over them. While interrupting others and speaking over them is not always seen as a positive trait, it can be a way to assert dominance in certain situations. When you interrupt someone, you are showing that what you have to say is more important than what they are saying. However, this is a delicate balance. If you interrupt too frequently or inappropriately, you may come across as rude and disrespectful.
It's important to be strategic in your interruptions and ensure that what you have to say is relevant to the conversation. 11. Is the center of attention in group settings. Dominant individuals often find themselves at the center of attention in group settings. They are the ones who are leading the conversation, cracking jokes, and keeping everyone engaged. If you want to be more dominant in group settings, you need to learn how to be the center of attention. This can be achieved by being confident and assertive in your interactions with others. Speak with conviction, make eye contact, and use body language to convey your confidence. You should also be prepared to contribute to the conversation and have interesting things to say. 12. Uses hand gestures to emphasize points. Hand gestures can be a powerful tool for emphasizing your points and asserting dominance. When you use hand gestures, you are showing that you are confident in your message and that you are in control of the conversation. However, it's important to use hand gestures appropriately. Don't overdo it or use gestures that are too dramatic or distracting. Keep your gestures subtle and relevant to what you are saying. 13. Has a confident walk. A confident walk can be a powerful way to assert dominance. When you walk with confidence, you are showing that you are comfortable in your own skin and that you are in control of your environment. To have a confident walk, stand up straight and maintain good posture. Keep your head held high and your shoulders back. Take purposeful steps and walk with a steady gait. And remember to maintain eye contact with those around you. There are many ways to be more dominant in your interactions with others. By maintaining eye contact, smirking, touching people, initiating physical contact, interrupting others, speaking in a slow and steady tone, being the center of attention in group settings, taking up more space than necessary, using hand gestures, and having a confident walk, you can assert your dominance and gain more control in your interactions with others. However, it's important to remember that dominance is not the same as aggression or disrespect. Always be respectful of others and their boundaries, and use your dominance in a positive and constructive way.